Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly Top Five show in snowboarding. This week's Top Five, the Top Five Ways to Save on New Gear. That's right, we're trying to save you some money. Number five, buy demo gear from your local reps. I mean, is it really used if it's new to you? Seriously though, your reps, they buy their demo fleet and then all through the spring people are testing them out and whatnot and they've got their samples and shit and they're trying to liquidate it in the fall and they need to make some cash. So pick it up. Sometimes you get some screaming ass deals plus you're supporting your local reps and your local snowboard scene. Number four. Buy last year's gear. I mean, that's that's pretty much a given. I don't know why it's on this list, but someone probably needs to hear it. There's tons of closeout deals on a lot of websites right now. You do a little Google search, you'll be surprised what you can find. And if you're really, really frugal and you're trying to save even more money, pick up some back stock from shit that's like two, three years old. It's still new in the box. It's just been sitting on a shelf for a while. It's still new, right? It hasn't been used. I mean, come on. You're gonna get like an 80% markdown with it. Number three. Enter every raffle and giveaway possible out there. I mean, if you're a lucky son of a bitch, you might win, or if you just have multiple fake accounts, you're definitely increasing your odds to win. Seriously, there's a lot of raffles out there. For like 10 bucks, you could potentially win a whole new snowboard. Or you, there's a lot of giveaways too. You just gotta find them. And when you do, you enter them repeatedly, over and over and over again. And then you might just win. I mean, there's no guarantee, but hey, you might win. Number two, convince a friend to take up snowboarding. You know that they don't have the physical capabilities to do this, but you convince them to do it. Then tell them to buy the products that you want. It's a little self-serving, but you tell them to buy the products that you want. Take them snowboarding. Maybe trip them up a little bit. Watch them fall, break their wrist, never want to snowboard again. Then convince them to give you their gear because they're never going to snowboard again. Sure, it might have been used one day, but it's still new to you. That's how you do it, folks. I mean, this is the culling of the herd. This is how you keep the weak out, too. Get rid of those people that are just people that go snowboarding and just, you know, keep it for yourself because you're a snowboarder, not a person that snowboards. Big distinction there. Honorable mentions. Repair all your old shit. I mean, if you can still use it, you're gonna save money, right? Tech wash, it goes a long way. Got some bindings that need some replacement parts? Time to hit up the old warranty and get yourself new toe, heel strap, ratchets, and high back. I mean, that's the equivalent of almost a whole new binding right there. Just remember to bribe, bribe the warranty guy. And if you want a dishonorable mention, just steal shit. I mean, granted you're a pile of scum and no one likes you and I hope you get rectal herpes and die and no one should steal, but you could just steal. And you know, you're a pile of shit so you'll probably have karma come around and kill you. But who cares? You got new shit and you're a douche. And we know you're a douche because you stole and you're probably going to brag about it. So go fuck yourself, seriously. Stop stealing people's shit, it's lame as fuck. And the number one way to get new snowboard gear for next season, go work in a shop. You'll probably get some discounts there, so that'll save you something. Whore yourself to the rep, I mean seriously, you know, over the pants hand job type shit on the chairlift, you do that to them. You know, you're the guy that's the first one there at the demo and the last one to leave. You're probably getting some free shit. And then, if you're actually a good rider, unlike me, I'm a horrible rider, I, I fucking suck. Get yourself sponsored, because, you know, if you're sponsored, you don't pay for shit. Although, if your sponsor's making you pay for shit, are you really sponsored, or are you just part of a club? Good question there. Anyways, yeah, get sponsored. Like, it's all it's all a set of one things. You go to work in the shop, you meet the rep, you get sponsored. Granted, there's some gray areas in there that may or may not involve over-the-pants hand jobs. I mean, Kevin knows all about that, but whatever. He's not here to defend himself. 
This has been my top five list of ways to save on getting new snowboard gear. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I miss one? Did I forget one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really want to support us and see us grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.